So this is a quick rundown of all of my bank stocks. I've got 31 in total. One from Germany, 17 from the USA, four from Ireland, four from Canada, four from the UK, and one from the Netherlands. And looking at the list, I have about maybe eight or 10 that I have received a dividend from, and I haven't from the rest. So it's not a huge amount of information to give, unfortunately. So get on to the first one. First is Ariel Bank, ticker symbol is ARL. And it's a German bank stock. It's currently trading for about 22 euro per share. Its current dividend yield is 1.96%. And I have not received a dividend as of yet, but they pay a dividend once a year. Second is Atlantic Union Bank Shares. Ticker symbol is AUB. It's trading for close to $37 per share. It's based in the US. Its dividend yield is 2.99%. It pays its dividend every quarter. The last one I received was for 28 cents per share. Number three, Auburn National Bank. Ticker symbol is AUBN. It's trading for about $35 per share. It's coming down off a pretty bad year. Might be a great time to buy it. So based in the US, current dividend yield is about 3%. And the last dividend I, was, I have not actually received one, but it's supposed to pay its dividend every quarter. Next we have a Canadian bank, the Bank of Montreal. Ticker symbol is BMO. So it's trading for close to $100 per share. It's recovered very well after the dip last year during lockdown. So it's based in Toronto in Canada, but the stock itself is on the US markets. So it's in the money center banks industry. Dividend yield of 5.21%. And the last dividend I received was for 74 cents per share, which is paid every quarter. Next is another Canadian bank, the Bank of Nova Scotia. Ticker symbol is BNS. It's trading for about $62 per share. It's also recovered very well after the lockdown last year. It's also in the money center banks industry. Dividend yield of 4.52%, which is paid every quarter. And the last one I received was for 62 cents per share. Next is the Bank of Hawaii, ticker symbol BOH, it's trading for about $83 per share. It's in the regional banks industry. Its current dividend yield is 3.29%. That's also paid every quarter, but I haven't received one yet. Next is the Bank of Ireland. And for some reason it says the stock is in the UK but it's in Euro, so I'll look into that one a little bit later on and see. But it looks like it's very recently added to this app. This is actually important as well when you're looking at your own stocks at home. This looks like, you know, if somebody's unfamiliar with the stock market, this looks like the whole history. You know, you might see the day or the week. When you look at the maximum, this is just the maximum of this platform. So if you want to find the full history, you can look it up at Google or Yahoo Finance. You can get the whole history of when the stock went public if they have it. Anyway, ticker symbol is BIRG. It's in the regional banks industry based in Dublin in Ireland. There's no dividend yield given, but it's supposed to pay its dividend once per year. Next is the Bank of America. Ticker symbol is BAC. It's trading for about $41.5 per share. Also recovered very well after the lockdown last year. It's in the regional banks industry. Current dividend yield of 2.08%. And it pays a dividend every quarter 
the last one I received was for 15 cents per share. Next is Barclays, ticker symbol BARC. So it's based in the UK and it's trading for about £1.85 pence per share. So this one has a much longer history. It's been added onto the app in 2012. Anyway, dividend yield of 1.67%. Pays a dividend twice a year, but I haven't received one yet. Next is Citigroup. Ticker symbol is C. It's trading for about $71.5 per share. It had a very harsh lockdown. Lost had nearly half its value. But it's pretty much back up to where it was beforehand. So it's in the regional banks industry. Current dividend yield of 2.92%. Pays its dividends every quarter, but I have not received one yet. Next is Erst Bank, ticker symbol EBS. So it's an Irish stock, but not an Irish bank. It's trading for 33 euro, 33 and a half euro per share in the regional banks industry. Now it's an Austria based savings bank. So there's no dividend yield given, but it's supposed to pay its dividends once a year and I haven't received one yet. Next is the First National First Horizon National Corporation, ticker symbol FHN. It's trading for about $16 per share. It's in the regional banks industry. Dividend yield of 5.6% and it pays its dividends every quarter, but I haven't received one yet. Next is HSBC Holdings, ticker symbol is HSBA. That's trading for about £3.94 per share in the regional banks industry. And the dividend yield is about 4% and it's supposed to be paid once per year but I haven't got one yet. Next is the ING Group, ticker symbol INGA. So it's a Dutch stock trading for about 11 and a half euro per share. Fully recovered since last year. Also in the regional banks industry, based in Amsterdam. Current dividend yield is 3.43% and it pays its dividends twice a year. Next is the Ito Unibanco, ticker symbol is ITUB. It's trading for about $5.80 per share. Still hasn't recovered from last year, but this is a monthly paying stock. It's based in, the stock is from the US, but the bank itself is based in Sao Paulo in Brazil. Has a current dividend yield of 2.17%, but I haven't received one yet. Next we have KBC Group. Ticker symbol is KBC. It's trading for close to 71 euro per share. It's another Irish stock, but I don't think that's an Irish bank. It's a Belgium based holding company. So it's in the savings and loans and savings banks industry. Current dividend yield is about 1% and it pays its dividends twice a year. Next is LCNB, ticker symbol is LCNB. It's trading for about $17.5 per share. It's in the regional banks industry. Dividend yield of 4.37% and it pays its dividends every quarter. Next is Lloyds Banking Group, ticker symbol LLOY. It trades for about 44 pence per share. It hasn't really recovered from the lockdown last year, but it's getting there slowly but surely. It's in the regional banks industry, headquartered in London. Dividend yield of 2.82% and it pays its dividends every quarter. 
Next we have NatWest Group, ticker symbol is NWG. It's trading for about two pounds, about two pounds eighteen pence per share, based in the UK. It's in the regional banks industry, and it was formerly the Royal Bank of Scotland, based in Edinburgh. So the dividend yield is two point eight one percent. Pays its dividends twice a year. And the last one I received was for three pence per share. Next is the New York Community Bank Corp. Ticker symbol is NYCB. It's trading for about twelve and a half dollars per share. It's in the US market. It's in the regional banks industry. It has a dividend yield of 5.52%. And the last dividend I received. Well, I haven't actually received them, but they're supposed to pay their dividend every quarter. Next is the Pens Buds Bank Corp. Ticker symbol is PWOD. It's trading for close to $24 per share. Also in the regional banks industry. Dividend yield of 5.41%. And it uh, pays a dividend every quarter, but I haven't received one yet. Next is the People's United Bank, ticker symbol is PBCT. It's trading for about $16.30 per share. That has actually, yeah, it's gone up higher than it was before the lockdown last year. Recovered very well. Hopefully it's the start of an uptrend. So it's in the regional banks industry. Dividend yield of 4.61%. And the last dividend I received was for 15 cents per share, which is paid every quarter. Next, we have the Raiffeisen Bank. Ticker symbol is RBI. It's trading for about 20 euro per share. Stock is based in Ireland, but the bank itself is based in Austria. So it's in the regional banks industry. Dividend yield of 2.31% and it pays its dividends once a year. Next is the Royal Bank of Canada. Ticker symbol is RY. Now it's trading for exactly $104 per share today. It's in the regional banks industry. It has a dividend yield of 3.24%. Pays a dividend every quarter and the last one I received was for $0.80 cents per share. Next we have Toronto Dominion, ticker symbol is TD. So it's currently trading for about $65.5 per share. Also based in Canada. Dividend yield of 3.79%. And the last dividend I received was for 55 cents per share, which is paid every quarter. Next we have Union Bank Shares. Ticker symbol is UNB. That's trading for about $34 per share. It's in the regional banks industry. Dividend yield of 3.8%. And the last dividend I received was for 28 cents per share, which is paid every quarter. And next is Wells Fargo. Ticker symbol WFC. It's trading for about $48.5 per share today. Also in the regional banks industry. Dividend yield of 1.68%. And the last dividend I received was for $0.08 cents per share, which is paid every quarter. Next we have Grupo Aval Acciones y Valores. Ticker symbol is AVAL. Now it's trading for close to $6 per share and it's based in Colombia. The stock is from the US but it's, the bank itself is based in Colombia. So it has a 5.16% dividend yield. I haven't received a dividend yet but it pays it every month. It's a massive market cap as well, $24.62 trillion. <sighs> That's a big one. 
Now third last we have Huntington bag shares. Ticker symbol is HBAN. What's trading for about fifteen and a half dollars per share in the regional banks industry. Dividend yield of three point eight three percent. Pays a dividend every quarter. And the last one I received was for thirteen cents per share. Second last is Key Corp. Ticker symbol is K E Y. Trading for about twenty dollars per share. Another regional bank. The dividend yield is three point five five percent, and the last dividend I received was for sixteen cents per share, which is paid every quarter. And the last bank stock, U.S. Bank Corp. Ticker symbol is USB. That's trading for fifty-seven dollars per share. This is also back up to where it was before the lockdown. Another regional bank has a 2.88% dividend yield. Pays a dividend every quarter. And the last one I received was for 36 cents per share. So that's it for this one. These are all the banks that I have at the moment. But as usual, it's majority US stocks so i think the next opportunity i get to add more positions i'll probably start looking for banks european banks to do there's 17 in the us out of a total of 31 but anyway i hope this was helpful and i hope you find some use in it